Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully complete our total Laravel 9 project, right? So everything is perfect. So that is our project front end and the, that is all that our pages and also that is our admin panel. I have already covered everything. Now from to this video, I want to do I want to deploy this total project to the live server then that will be very much uh, helpful to you like right now that is our project i have created that project in our local host so now if you want to deploy it first of all we have to do we have to back up our file so we have to back up two of this file first of all we have to back up our total project and then we have to back up our database right for this project i have created one of the database as a website now first of all i want to do i want to back up our database so if you want to back up this database that is our database name as a website from here you have to do you have to export it now simply click as a export so that is all that our database table now want to do and to export it now you can see there is export and from the export you have to go to that custom simply and then here you can actually add this functionality as if not exist that means all that id that will be saved i make it as a selected and then simply i click as a go now our database should be download Okay, you can see our database as a website that is on the SQL server and that is our SQL is successfully successfully download. So make that sure you download it here. I download that file and I save it. I have already created one of the folder as a basic project complete backup. So now that is our SQL file right now we have to do we have to take our total project source file like that is our total project source file that is our admin panel and admin panel all the pages right now from here I want to log out. Now you can see it's now displays a user logout successful. So now if you want to go to that our project, so that is our ST docs in our local server in our ST docs as a root directory here. I have created this project name as a project one, right? So that is our total project. Now I want to do I want to take take a backup. So if you want to take this backup before taking this back, backup, I will recommend it to run three of this command. Like if you go to that CMD. Our PHP artisan service now running. I want to do want to run it. So here there are three code we have to run as a PHP artisan config cache. I make it as a PHP artisan config cache. And you can see there is a configuration cache is successful. I want to run as a PHP artisan cache clear. I want to clear all that cache and also I want to clear all that are view. Okay, make that sure you run three of this command. So simple three of this command make that sure you run it great so now we are able to download it so that means that is our project where i want to take total folder you can also down only copy that file that means you can make it as a gif or particular that folder which is totally fine but i want to, don't to take it as a project one simply i want to make it as a compress file if you make it as a compress folder now you can see it's now compressing our total project so friend it may take little time better when it will be done then i'll come back again here you can see friend it's now successfully created that gif folder so here from to this position i compress all that our file that is our folder name as a project one so now better i'm going to take it from here i cut it and now in particular folder as a basic project complete backup here i paste it so as i told you that will be two things will be needed one will be your sql server and that will be your total project source code so that's all you have to do now i want to do i want to deploy our total project in web server so how to do this work how can deploy your laravel project in live server in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video